everyone welcome to another fun episode of crafting kindness today we're doing something new we are gonna make a victory flower this is a very special design by my friend Jen at Sunfire Designs so we're gonna be having two colors really three colors some mica and some white and a clear push and I am so excited to um, introduce us on my channel today. So, Jen has already done a couple over on her channel, and you should go check her out again at Sunfire Designs. So, I am going to be using today Liquitex Acrylic Inks. I'm going to be making that mixture for my blues and teals using um, the turquoise and turquoise deep. Um, and then I have the prism violet that I'm going to be using for my purple and then I'm going to be using black so I know that I told you on one of my most recent videos that black provides some awesome depth which it does and I showed you on the last one I think um, but today in particular I am going to be using black as one of my three colors because that mica that I showed you is origami from eye candy and it is oh, amazing on top of black or mixed in with black so I'm hoping that it really shows its color shifting properties um, that are kind of blue scion purple um, and it, on that black depth of that base so that's really why I picked black too so um, we'll see how that works and then here I'm mixing up my white and I am using the just resin titanium white paste this is a product um, that is was recommended to me for use with the fairy flower because I was having a lot of trouble getting my dots and I still haven't gotten it quite right but I've kind of fallen in love with it or I'm really just kind of starting to know how to use it well and realize how much to use because it's a paste so it's not drops so um, I'm using that today and the white for this victory flower I would say is more of a medium um, transparency or opaqueness uh, when you tilt your stick it just you can start to see the stick about after two seconds two or three seconds so it doesn't just like fall off so and you see the stick so that's my white the just resin titanium white I am using a new mold from resin courses from mica and this mold um, I will link down in the description mica has some beautiful molds and this is one of the ones that is made with a crystallized edge it's really really pretty and then the resin i'm using today is the transparent from resin pro it's it is the one that i get um from overseas from resin pro directly they don't yet offer it here in the states um but that is a five to three ratio resin and it's thin it has a very long working time and uh, I just really enjoy it because I can do a lot of different things with it. Um, I can let it warm up to thicken up. I can use it for thinner designs, for more kind of um, light airy designs like the Laramar and stuff like that without letting it set and get thick. So the only downside obviously is that it's expensive with shipping especially. So um, you can see here that I'm mixing up that origami eye candy paste and you can tell even though it's a white based um, color shifting that there was a little bit of that blue um, teal you know flash in there and that's that's really gonna come out with the black I hope I hope I hope so I'm gonna get ready here to start pouring and this is really quite a simple pour you essentially puddle pour the three colors on top of each other then we're going to drizzle the mica around um, the outlines between each color and then we're going to make V's with our white from the outside to the end. So this is where the victory name comes in. V for victory. So as you can see here I use my turquoise colors first then I have my 
purple and now I'm gonna have my black there so simple just dump them in one at a time hit some torch to get some of those bubbles out and then I'm gonna pour this mica between my first and second colors and my second and third colors and then I'll go back around um, oh that's right I forgot sorry and then I made a, <laughs> a ring in the center and then um, I'm gonna go back um, to the outside one and give it a little bit more since I only did the one ring of mica around that outside ring first so um, I kind of forgot that I had gone back and put that center ring in Sometimes, um, when I've tried this before, before this video, just on my own, when I was first practicing, I was doing those mica rings and I would just simply use those two rings and not put an extra one in the center there. So my guess is, as I was pouring this, I was just super excited about the mica showing up on the black that I, I put another one in there. So anyways. So as you can see here, I'm doing the V pattern from the outside in and I do it twice. So just like the Majesty, um, you're going to do your white pattern from the outside inside and then do it over itself again. And then we're going to let it draw in for just a few minutes. And after that happens, we're going to put one more line of V's on the outside edge and then put our clear push in. So that's all that you'll see here in the next couple of minutes. I will drop my center in here and um, it is a new glitter that I just got in the mail the night before from Laura's Art Corner. So I'm super excited to be using those. Uh, really Laura has some wonderful glitters of all different kinds. She also has really fun mica powders um, and like additives decorative center kind of pieces so go check out laura's art corner she's got some fabulous quality products and she ships super duper fast so again i just dropped my center in there and it's closing really fast um, with that thin resin that i used and so i just kind of swirled that in there so i'm gonna let you all enjoy the time lapse and I will see you back for demolding. So I must admit that I'm a bit nervous to demold this and that's simply because this hasn't moved in or really changed a whole lot on the back. So I'm a bit nervous that um, there's not a whole lot of pattern on the underside of this and that it's kind of stayed, stayed kind of, I don't know, a top or on the back. So the colors are beautiful, so hopefully at least that's pretty. We'll see. Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that is not what I expected. If anything, I expected that white, not at all, to be there because there was a ton still left on the back. But you guys, that white, is super heavy actually so and it it blended a ton of the color so much so that it, it it made my colors really pastel when you can imagine that they were rather kind of dark um my teal was my lightest and then my purple and then of course black was super dark and it um it pretty much washed everything out but there's some really pretty petals on here and a little bit of that color blending is really kind of pretty um, within that lighter blue color. So I've lost my cool effects with my black and my origami mica, which is kind of sad because I was super excited about that. But that's okay because there's some still really cool effects in here and I, it's really pretty. It's just not at all what I expected. 
So I think next time I'm gonna try either a different white or about half the amount of white and we'll see what that goes. So thanks for joining me and I will look forward to seeing you next time.